Welcome everyone and thank you for coming out. This is very exciting for all of us um, at our very first house here at 774 Macon Place in Uniondale. I want to introduce our program. Um, first we're going to have two speakers and I want to first thank three instrumental people that were helpful in us getting this, our first house. Laura Curran. Laura Gillen, Yay! and Senior Woman Councilwoman Dorothy Goosby. And right now, Paul would Paul will go ahead and give us um, would thank you as well. Paul is our president at the Uniondale Community Land Trust. Good afternoon, everyone, and thanks for coming out on this cold day for the celebration. We are proud today to kick off the construction for 774 Macon Place, the first land trust property we are renovating in Uniondale. The, community, the Uniondale Community Land Trust is a grassroots housing development organization that began several years ago when, when members of the community realized the foreclosure crisis was harming individual households and the community at large. Guac, the Greater Uniondale Area Action Coalition spearheaded community summits. We determined that there needed to be a strong community response to the crisis and sought, a way, and sought a way to take the vacant properties that were blighting our community and turn them into community assets. This led to the Community Land Trust model. Page, turn the page. <laughs> Our goal this year is to renovate the house you see before you and sell it to a qualifying home buyer. This house is, the only, is only the first that we hope to renovate in the area. We are already in discussions to potentially acquire additional properties. UCLT's building momentum and our vision is to create a group of homes throughout Uniondale that can provide opportunities for households to build wealth, stabilize the community, and in the process contribute to community empowerment. <laughs> As I mentioned earlier, UCLT is a grassroots organization and there is a particular group of people that I want to recognize, namely the members who serve and have served on our board of directors. Seeps through the 